There's a secret way to get rid of your Parent PLUS loans faster than 25 years. It's something that few people know about, but those that do have already wiped out hundreds of thousands of dollars of Parent PLUS loans, sometimes just a few short months after their child left school. The good news is that you can join them, but you have to move now. The government is shutting the door on this turbocharged forgiveness opportunity at the end of this year. That means you have just a few weeks left to squeeze into this opportunity so you can get your Parent PLUS loans forgiven decades faster than you're normally allowed. But before I tell you how to do that, let me explain how we got here. Last year, President Biden announced three forgiveness plans. The first was the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Waiver. That waiver helped people who work for the government or nonprofit employers get retroactive credit toward loan forgiveness, even if they no longer worked in public service. The second was his promise to wipe out up to $20,000 of loans for tens of thousands of Americans. Now, as you already know, that debt relief plan was besieged by lawsuits and ultimately declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. The final forgiveness plan was Biden's plan to wipe out billions of dollars of loans for people who have had their debt for 20 years or more. That's the one we're talking about today. The poorly named Payment Account Adjustments Toward Income Driven Repayment and Public Service Loan Forgiveness Programs. Like, yo, I hate that name. It's a mouthful. So instead of using that terrible title, I'm going to refer to it as the Income Driven Repayment Waiver. That's what me and my colleagues call it, so that's what we're gonna go with. Because really, that's what this forgiveness plan is designed to fix. It's meant to make up for the fact that many of you got absolutely hosed by Navient, FedLoan, and other servicers who steered you into long-term forbearances that added tens of thousands of dollars of interest to your loan balance, rather than put you into income-driven repayment plans. The IDR waiver gives you credit toward 20 year or 25 year forgiveness for your time in repayment. Yo, it's 20 years if you only borrow loans for undergrad education, or it's 25 years if you ever borrowed a single loan for grad school or you have Parent PLUS loans. Now this IDR waiver, it gives you credit for your time in repayment, long periods of forbearance, and some deferment. Now with that background out the way, let's get back to the point of the video, turbocharging the timeline to get your parent loans forgiven. In the months after the president announced the IDR waiver, education department officials worked to put together an article explaining how the program would work. That article is super helpful to nerds like me who eat and sleep through loan laws and regulations, but it can be impossible to digest for everyone else. There's simply too much text. I mean, look at this thing. There are nearly 6,000 words and almost 30 frequently asked questions. Who the has time to read all of this? Look, I'm not gonna overwhelm you by reading the whole thing. Instead, let's jump to this question right here. Should I consolidate my other federal student loans with my Parent PLUS loan? Let me break that question down. It's aimed at parents who A, have loans they borrow for their child's education, and B, still have federal loans from their own time in school. If this is you, come close. No, I need you to come closer. I'm about to give you some free game. Listen to what the education department is telling you. It says right here, if you consolidate your parent loans with your loans, you will be credited based on the time and repayment for all of your loans. This ensures you get the most forgiveness credit. Now think about what that means. If you've had your loans for over two decades, you can combine those loans with the Parent PLUS loans you just borrowed and get them forgiven just like that. I know, I know. All this sounds too good to be true, right? I get it, but I've seen it work. Early this spring, Mia, an administrator from Virginia, booked a call with me to find a repayment strategy to deal with the $300,000 she owed in Parent PLUS loans. During our call, I checked her student loan info from studentaid.gov and noticed that she owed another $400,000 in loans for her own education. When I dug into the details of each loan, I noticed that she had been in repayment on those since 1993. At that point, I knew immediately what to do. We needed to consolidate her loans with the Parent PLUS loans. Of course, she had a ton of objections because what I was saying was crazy. It goes against all logic. Why would the government create a program this way? I don't know. And truthfully, I don't give a The only thing that matters to me is that it works. 
And I know that it does because in August, Mia got an email from the education department letting her know that they would be wiping out all $727,312.23 that she owed. I want you to join her, but you have to move fast. The IDR waiver ends this year. So head over to studentaid.gov to start the consolidation process. But before you hit submit on your application, you need to know this. There's a cost to getting all this forgiveness credit. Consolidating can lead to your monthly payments increasing by a lot. Now, when I said that, your heart probably sank. Sure, you want loan forgiveness, but what you really need right now is a payment you can actually afford. What if I told you there's a little known loophole that can significantly lower your monthly payments? Watch this video to learn more about this ingenious workaround.